Don't start the year like this. To look like an athlete, you need to train like an athlete. Athletes train for their specific sport. However, this video will teach you how to become a well-rounded athlete. We'll train to become faster, stronger, more agile and more flexible. Stick around for a secret technique that every athlete uses to get ahead. Understand that most videos that talk about training like an athlete do not actually teach you how to train like an athlete. Most real athletic training is very Strange. Anyway, the first step is to figure out what exactly you want as an athlete. Do you want to get stronger at bodyweight exercises and or weighted exercises? Do you want to run faster or for longer? And what about flexibility and balance? These are the things you need to think about. Find out your weaknesses and strengths and write them on a piece of paper or your phone or wherever you can see them daily. Then write some goals according to what you want to accomplish. The more specific the goals, the better. Once you have your goals and know your strengths and weaknesses, then you can move on to the next step. Your program will depend on how long you want a session to be and how many days to train. How many days you train will affect what each session looks like. If you want to train for three days, then most likely you will perform full body workouts on all of those days. If you want to train for four days, an upper body, lower body split, or full body again. If you choose between four to seven days, the program can now become more creative. Here are some examples on the screen, some of which I've personally used before. If you are doing full body workouts for every session in a five, six, seven day session, then I recommend having a light session day you can focus on the recovery and or exercise technique. This will be the best way to help you avoid any injuries and allow you to train harder on certain days. The next step involves the use of the ATSP hierarchy, which is a system created by the Bioneer here on YouTube. The system is meant to train people across a variety of disciplines. ATSP stands for Attribute, Trait, Skill and Proficiency. You start with Proficiency. This refers to the sport you want to get better at or how you want your body to move athletically. Then you break down the athletics you want or your sport down into the necessary skills that take up that sport. Find the traits that are necessary for these skills such as speed or rotational strength. And finally, find out what attributes the traits are made up of, for instance, which muscles are being used in the rotational strength. I'm not going to go into too much detail here as the Bindy has made a whole video and article about the topic, which I will link down in the description and comment section. Once you have your list of exercises to do to develop your athletic skills, you now need to put them into a weekly program. Choose exactly how many days you plan on training for. It doesn't matter if it is 3, 4, 5, 6 or even 7 days. The program must work according to your schedule. As athletes, we need to train in both full ranges of motion and partial ranges of motion. All flips are fine as long as you use them as sparingly as toilet paper during COVID-19. It's important to have the mindset of an athlete. You need to be training with a strong mind-muscle connection to have a large amount of muscle recruitment. Try to imagine every single muscle fiber in your muscle that is being trained and do your best to focus on that muscle. This will give you more power, control, and muscle growth during your training sessions. Of course, if you train hard, you're going to need to think about your recovery and diet. Your diet must be on point, but avoid crash diets. They tend to do more harm than good. Most people just can't maintain extreme diets for very long. And so once they finish the diet, they go back to how they were eating before, or worse, they binge eat. We have to think long-term. Choose your diet according to what you can afford and your personal choice. There are hundreds of different diets out there. Vegan, the carny carnivore diet, paleo diet, low carb, vegetarian, pescatarian, keto, 
and many more, each with their own benefits and drawbacks. Just don't become a diet extremist where you shout from the roofs that one diet reigns supreme over others. And of course, check with your doctor whether you can start a new diet at all. Important to note that when a training program is designed according to your goals, strengths and weaknesses, your program will be unique. So don't worry if your program doesn't end up looking like the other workout templates. Those programs are extremely basic and they don't help you with specific problems such as your elbow pain. Most of you will end up using different techniques from each other for different reasons. Speaking of techniques, there are a variety of techniques to become a great athlete and this is one of the best kept secrets right here on the screen. But now it is time to talk about which is actually not that secret. One word, periodization. This technique is used by many athletes. Simply split your timeline of training into smaller chunks where you will focus on certain forms of training. For instance, if your timeline is a year, split the year into four chunks, each with three months. In the first chunk or cycle, you will focus on basic strength and technique. In the second cycle, you will focus on speed and explosiveness. In the third cycle, you will focus on endurance and cardiovascular training. And finally, in the fourth cycle, we will focus on general strength and athleticism. This is just a basic idea of periodization, but it can be changed according to you and your goals and currently the weather. Why the weather? Well, it's usually difficult for some people to train for running in the winter, especially if it rains a lot. So a good idea would be to focus on endurance and cardiovascular training in spring, autumn or summer when you're able to run outside and even able to swim. In winter, you can rather focus on strength training techniques. Speaking of being secret, it's probably a good idea not to subscribe to this channel, or else others might find out about it.